hello welcome back this video is in continuation with our previous video on fetching google scholars data using google sheet in that video we learned about how to fetch table data that is present on a web page using import html in this video we will learn about how to fetch data that is associated with div or other elements using import xml so let's get started Okay, so here we have data which has name and scholar URL and citations H index and I10 index. We already learned how to fetch citations H index and I10 index in our previous video. Now let us fetch profile name and affiliation which is not present in the structured data or table data. So we visit this uh, Google Scholar scholar.google.com here we can find out profile of various authors we select this as a scholar url and let's see what we get on the home page of this author so you can see here we can get name of the author and other informations so earlier we learned how to fetch this data so basically this data is in form of a table html table so there we use import html and using that we were able to fetch that data in this example we want to fetch this profile name and this affiliation for that we have to use import xml and see here import xml the first is first parameter is url i take this url now the second parameter i have to specify xpath query so at this point i keep it blank and i'll show you how to use that value so for that we open this url in any browser chrome or edge then we suppose i want to fetch this information into google sheet so what i have to do i have to right click on that then click on inspect so on right hand side you'll see that selected element now here i right click on this go to copy under copy you will find various options so i select copy x path so basically x path is xml path which is a way to access information which is present in some hierarchical structure so i have copied that x path into clipboard now i am going to use it here in this formula i will write here as a x path i will write that selected x path now here you can see that this uh, x path the element names it's already using this double quotes so i replace that double quotes by single quote and i hit enter key okay so now we are able to fetch the profile name in the same way i can get affiliation again inspect we'll get selected element right click copy copy x path go to google sheet and here i'm going to use it again i use import xml the same url specify x path Again, I replace that double quotes with the single quote, and that is it. We'll be able to fetch this information. Now, you just need to copy this 
formula for all other authors and you'll be able to patch information for all the authors so we can use this import xml with xpath to fetch information for some entries we get some error so that is due to the path that we have specified may not be matching with the path that is present in the document so there may be some other information so we can use this import xml along with xpath to fetch this kind of information it's very useful you can use it in relevant applications thanks for watching